In just a few weeks, the sun will pass over the moon. We've all been hearing about this big solar eclipse. And West Plains will have one of the best viewing areas in the country. Francis Watson tells us how this small town is preparing for a huge event. And everybody's excited. This is a once in a lifetime thing. I'm really excited about the eclipse. Buzz around town is, is getting pretty loud. You know, we've been talking about it for so long and I, I feel like, you know, sometimes people are just like, oh my gosh, you know, this is so far out. I don't know why you're talking about this. But now all of a sudden people realize that it's here. People like Langley Collins, who manages a restaurant in downtown West Plains. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Do you guys need a drink? Uh, we've been hiring some new staff and making sure that we've got uh, really great new menu items for everybody to try. Um, trying to make sure that all of our employees are uh, ready and up to bat. Hopefully we'll know more here in these next upcoming weeks. Across town, local hotel manager Rhonda Blankenship is busy taking reservations. You never know what to expect when you have an event coming into town. Rhonda says visitors started making their requests for lodging last year. We're booked up solid. Every hotel in town on Sunday night is filled up solid. She says she's gearing up for the increase in guests. We're looking at what we need to do as far as scheduling. We have um, added some extra people. We've started looking at extra housekeeping if we needed to bring someone extra in. While preparations around town are just getting underway, officials with the local tourism board say they've been planning for the eclipse for years. I've been planning for over three years is kind of when the concept came up and um, doing a four day festival and um, I've had a, a great task force here locally that we've been meeting once a month for three years. West Plains tourism manager Melissa Wharton says all those years of planning is coming down to the wire. It's all the logistics that are hitting us right now and um, working with police and fire and city administrators and the county and just trying to make sure everybody's kind of on that same page that we've got um, visitor safety in mind. It's definitely going to be in all hands on deck for the city of West Plains. Reporting in West Plains, I'm Francis Watson.